Hey everyone, it's Kerry Oberbrunner. Great to be with you. Hey, listen, this is incredible. This is the day we've all been waiting for. Katrina, how are you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. It's been a great day. So much fun. What a fun day. <laughs> doing awesome. Thanks, Kerry. Listen, you have a ton of people already here. They're showing up. They are uh, ready to watch and learn. And we're on all of your channels. My team is actually broadcasting this all over the place. We have prizes that we're giving away. So now what I want people to do is I want people to post in where they're from. So if everyone can say, hey, you know, I'm from wherever. And, you know, we have Dana already jumping in and other people. But go ahead and tell us where you're from. We want to, you know, welcome you. Katrina, this, my friend, is so powerful. I have your book right here. You are topping the charts on Amazon. Tell us, first of all, like how you feel. What do you do on book day? Did you, did you go out you to know, eat? So here's day? what's so interesting. It was like pretty like open, um, which I think was good because you just never know. And I did an Instagram live with an amazing woman, Robin Call, who um, she has this great channel where she, um, just reviews books and recommends books that she likes. So she wanted to do, um, she wanted to do a, an Instagram live to talk about the book. So that was really fun. And, um, you know, I went out to lunch with my husband, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, and we're having this party here. So it's just been so fun to have a day where I also didn't have like other meetings or, you know, other things like that. It's just been yeah, like absolutely. a fun day. And, my goal for myself for today was just to stay with, like to receive the fun, to receive the celebration, to allow myself to be happy about this, to have yes. fun and to not just gloss over it on the way to the next thing. You know, like Absolutely. people are like, do you know how many books I've sold? I'm like, I have no idea. And I don't even want to know today. <laughs> That's for another day. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, I've done a lot of launches. I've been part of a lot of books. And I will tell you that your community is incredible. I mean, this community, yeah. I know you have your circle group yeah. that is the last time book ambassadors. Mm -hmm. And first of all, let's talk a little, bit about, a little bit about them. Maybe you can just tell them how much they mean to you because oh they've been gosh. there. Yeah. yeah talk, talk about them. Yeah. Well, I was already in the circle group earlier today going like, thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> Yeah. I just appreciate you so much. You know, what's so cool is to be able to, um, you know, it, it's for me, it's not like about me. It's about the message. It's about the impact. And it's what's really cool is when you have a message that, you know, resonates with people and, right. you know, so many people struggle with this topic and concept and that there are other people out there who have gotten so much help from your work and they want to help get that word out to other people who struggle. Cause right. Like as one person, we can really only do so much, right? We really. It's kind of like, you know, we talk about it takes a village to raise a child. Like it takes a village to get a book out into the world. Oh, and, and I really just am so appreciative of everybody who, you know, wanted to be a part of that community who signed up to do it. I mean, literally hundreds of people, it's it totally blew our minds. We were so impressed and so excited. Yeah. Um, and you know, just that they are willing to help get this this word out i mean it's just i just appreciate them so much they're just awesome and they've been in there supporting one another i mean i could go on so oh I man ellie says i came home from work to your book on my front porch that's Yay! amazing that is so amazing <laughs> and so listen fun, folks <laughs> we're gonna give away some really cool prizes and here's how you win a prize tonight you don't no purchase necessary whoever's the most engaged member so here's how you kind of get you get noticed by our team. Tag, comment, share. As people share this on their social media, more lives will be changed. Right now, my guess is, Katrina, that there's someone who's saying, look, I'm sick of trying to lose weight. I'm done. I'm just going to give up. And your book goes into brain-based solutions. And so I want to just challenge everybody to go share this. We're going to give away some content, some prizes tonight. But first of all, please share, please tag, and uh, go ahead and spread the word. So let's jump right into the first question. Why did you write this book? Yeah, I asked myself that a lot. <laughs> I right. was like, what am I doing? Right. But really, I wrote this book because I think, I mean, it was so interesting when I did that Instagram live today, like this, you know, this, this woman who obviously reads a lot of books, 
She struggled with her weight herself. She's like, you know, she saw the book and thought like, is there really more to add to this subject? And she was like, oh my gosh, there is, you know, we think we've heard it all and we totally haven't. And so mm -hmm. there was a gap in the market. Like people don't know about this. Yes. And, um, you know, just even seeing the reviews on my podcast, like people were sharing about it and, and doing what they could to get the word out. But, you know, at a certain point, either, oh, I mean, some people are just never going to listen to a podcast. It's just not their thing or they're just not yeah. audio people or whatever. But also like at a certain point with volume, like where do I start? And, you yes. know, it just starts to feel like overwhelming. And I felt like also doctors who are amazing human beings who have been through the absolute ringer, mm. particularly the last couple of years, but even before that, it wasn't so great <laughs> for a lot right. of them, you know, they're really struggling. They have such a good heart. They went into medicine mm. to really genuinely help people and they don't know what to do. They don't know how to help their patients. Like even my clients will say, I'm a doctor. People come to me asking me how I, they can lose weight. And I don't know what to tell them. Like I don't mm. have a good resource. So all of those things together, right? Like there are people who were aware of my work or, you know, were recommended it, would love to have a place to just like get started. What's like the, the, you know, like main points that I need to know. There are doctors who are like, God, it would be so nice to be able to just recommend a book when someone asks, you yes. know, they literally do not have time to get into it and all the details with people, even if they'd love to, they just don't to be able to just go, Hey, you know what I recommend? Check this thing out and you can get it, you know, like ask for it at the library. I mean, it's yeah. not even something that people necessarily have to spend any money on. And, um, and then also just knowing that there are, of course, you know, I mean, women physicians in clinical practice are like very, very close to my heart. And there are a lot of them who were out there like me, like I used to be just going like, nobody gets me, no one understands, mm. nothing works you know, like, how is this any different? I mean, I think, you know, yeah. um, understandably as doctors, you know, we can be skeptics. We're like, what is this thing now? Right. Like, what's her angle? You know what I mean? Like we're going in there trying to, trying to poke holes, but I know from helping so many doctors that this really resonates. And I thought, well, you know what, it's like going to help so many different parts of, you know, our world, different types of oh, people absolutely. who are struggling. And, um, and so, you know, that impact was worth it to me to go through the three year process <laughs> of getting this book out into the world. <laughs> it does take, it does take a while. So let's give away the first prize. First right. of all, um, do you have some prizes near you? Cause this I is going to be, do. what do you, what do you have? What do you have? Okay. The first thing I have is our program uh, planner. Yeah. So this, let me just tell you the backstory on this. This is a oh. custom designed planner that we give as a gift to all of our members who come into my weight loss for doctors only program. Mm. So this is something that having done, you know, like I bought like every planner, <laughs> uh -huh. man, you know what I mean? And all the different things, like I kind of took what I love for different things. I mean, it's so light, it's little, but it lasts you six months, which is so good. And it's got just day by day, it's got an area for like your to do's, the habits that you're working on, um, you know, being consistent with thoughts to practice for this week. It has a whole area for your food journaling, which is so great. Nice. Um, and it's got a whole calendar in the beginning that is that like you can just fill in, you know what I mean? It's not like dated, like you put the yeah. dates in that kind of stuff, at least for me is super helpful because you got to keep so yourself good. on track. And like, when am I going on vacation? You probably do have another calendar, but for like the purposes of keeping yourself on track of losing weight, this is a really fun custom planner. I love it. I you love cannot it. Buy this. I mean, our, our, we do let our clients buy them, but yeah. you cannot buy them. So the, listen, Carrie, great name, by the way, Carrie <laughs> Ward says this planner is the bomb. Like, yeah, she knows so <laughs> your, your clients. Yeah. First of all, folks, listen, you can't buy this. This is an insider thing. Yeah. So I want to know who wants one. I want to see, again, we're not going to give them away to everybody, but again, most active person, meaning commenting, posting, tagging, sharing. If you want to be one of the recipients, go ahead, post in. We got people jumping in. Um, we got uh, Laura. We got Casey. So here's what we're going to do. I have a live stream 
Slack message. I have like five things up right now. <laughs> I can't even imagine what your screen okay. looks like right now. <laughs> yeah. So I have a live stream where, where I have special teammates, the secret elves that are picking. And somebody says this color is perfect. By the way, that's pretty cool. It matches your whole brand. True. It does, except on my camera, it doesn't look like it matches. It, it's not the same color on my screen as it is in okay. real life, but it does match. <laughs> it does match. I love it. I love it. it so, hey, live stream people, um, elves, go ahead and type in who you're choosing, and I'll announce the winners. And we have people that are sharing and tagging and saying they want one. This is fantastic. How many of these are we going to give away? Like more than one, two? We're going to give two? three away. Oh, all right. All right. So, so yeah. we have people that are requesting these. That's awesome. Awesome. Hey, I want to show my screen here. You, you might not know this. This is pretty powerful. I want all the people to see this. Listen again, I do a lot of books right now on Kindle. First of all, you can get it on uh, Kindle. You can get it on audio. You can get it on hardcover. You've been crushing it all day long. And, uh, you know, you've been making different bestseller categories, but. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that. Did you see oh, that? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You're number one in diets and weight loss. What? Oh, absolutely. You've been going up and down all over the place today. I took a screenshot and I'm telling you, Katrina, this is big stuff. When you have all three oh, of your wow. categories as number one, that's like, oh my gosh, that's yeah. like Super Bowl. So. Oh, First cool. of all, I don't know if people know this, but there are millions and millions of books on Amazon. For you to be in the top 1,500 of all of Amazon, and I know that you've even gone down in the pre-release phase to even lower than that. It's amazing. So how does that feel? I know it's one thing to like write a book and do a podcast, but to also be topping the charts, how, how does yeah. that feel, my friend? I mean, it feels it's it's I'm like a little incredulous, you know what I mean? Like, like what I love about you, Carrie, is you're always making me feel good about myself. <laughs> you're always like, you're doing so great. I'm oh, like, you, it's true. We always it's true. Like that in our life. But to see that, because here's the thing though, is like I'm not from this world. Like, I don't know publishing. Yes. But you do. So the I cool do. thing is I know that you're not just blowing smoke. Like you yes. mean it. Yes. When you say, like, no, but this is doing really well. I'm like, yeah, oh, I, I would call I you. No. I'd call you during the launch and I'm like, Katrina, you know what you just did? So, so that, I mean, and I'll tell you what, I can, I can feel the love from your people. I have yeah. people that saying, somebody just said two years, they've been listening to your Amazing. podcast, every episode. I mean, yeah. this is the success that it takes. And people, mm -hmm. you know, people want to launch a book and be like, oh, you know, hey, we just hit bestseller. You've, you've put in mountains of work. Mm -hmm. years of building a following where you've given and given and given. And then when you finally do come out with a product that's available for everybody, because we mm -hmm. need to talk about that. You, you yeah. don't position yourself as like, Hey, I'm for everybody. No, uh, but this book was kind of a, a new move for you. Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah. I mean, th so the thing with, <laughs> so it's so interesting. I mean, could this work help anybody? Yes. But you have it has to be somebody who is ready for something different, right? Like I think that there are definitely people who are like, no, 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 I'm just gonna like follow the whatever, you know, sure. like I'm just gonna, this is so great. You like order all your food and then you just eat whatever they give you and like yeah. stuff like that. And here's the thing is yeah. if that works for somebody, I am not gonna say one bad thing about it. Like amazing. That is so great if that's what's working for you. But what I find is that it's not working for most people. You know, it's not really what most people need or want. And so because of that, um, you know, there's just so many people who are like stuck and and also st like start to feel pretty hopeless. Right. Like yes. like it, maybe this just isn't possible for me. You know, maybe I you know, and it's so easy when you read like statistics and studies and whatever to start feeling worse about the whole thing and like, you know, what your future could could look like. And so, um, you know, and also just knowing like there were a lot of people who really wanted to work with me and I wasn't, you know, because my program is so narrowly focused there wasn't anything for them. And I was just like, I just want them to be able mm. to get a good start. I mean, this is not my entire program in a book form. There are not enough pages allotted <laughs> to be able to do all of that. Yeah. But, uh, but it is a really, really great start. And I, and I also thought, you know, how awesome will this be for even just other coaches, you know, who focus on weight loss or maybe even other things yeah. who, you know, they, 
maybe don't have like the MD behind their name or like whatever it is, but there's going to be people who are going to read this book and go, Hey, I'm looking for a coach who's going to, who can help me with this. Can you help me? And there's some amazing, amazing coaches out there who I know are going to be able to just, you know, increase their impact as we go through yeah. this. So I just really kind of think of it as like, that's the tides rising all boats, you know what I mean? Like it's right. It's great. Well, I think your heart is one of abundance because yeah. there's a lot of influencers out there who say, look, I'm the only person and I'm the one and you got to come to me. You've pretty much said, look, I can't, I don't have enough bandwidth to help everybody, yeah. but I'm going to help female physicians. And then for everybody else, I can create this book. By the way, here we go. Here's the winner. Oh. And um, so the first winner for the planner is Susan Zartman, who I know. And what? I think Oh I, didn't gosh, have, I didn't have anything to do with it. Seriously, um, in the live stream, the little elf picked that person. So oh, nice. um, that's great. <laughs> and look at this. How cool is this to see Julie W. say, I'm down 22 pounds from just listening to the podcast. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I'm not, I mean, it makes me feel amazing. I'm so, so, so happy for her. But the thing is, I'm not actually that surprised because we get emails like that a lot. Like yeah. I've lost so much weight listening to your podcast, but here's the thing though. And, and I just, I don't want to take away from that because it's amazing and I'm, it I love it, but Thank we you. have definitely had clients who are like, yeah, I lost all my weight, but I still know that I have more work to do. And so, mm -hmm. so there's like the losing, like there's the changing your body part. Yeah. And then there's the, I need to work on my brain part. And that's what I want to make sure that people are really, you know, it's like, I, and, you know, I've spoken about this a little bit before, but I just want to say again, like, you know, part of me didn't even want to give any, any help in the book on like specifics about creating a plan. Cause I was like, it doesn't matter so much. Like what you need to do is focus on your brain. But yeah. then I knew like, no, but like there needs to be structure for people. So like there needs to be like a scaffolding, like there needs to be something there to help them while they're doing all of that work. So mm. just don't skip that part. Make sure as you're losing that weight that you really are doing the, the part that's needed so that you don't regain it, right? Because that's mm. the whole thing. Like a million people can help you lose weight, but how do we lose weight for the last time? How do we create yeah. that true peace and freedom around food? we have to change the way that we think. Right. And, um, and so not to take anything away from Julie, I mean, like I, you know, it's I'm huge. sure she's doing everything so, so well, just yeah. make sure that you're also doing the brain work that's required. And that's why I love your book. Um, by the way, Kareen. Kareen I know, I know who, I know exactly who she is. She is um, French Canadian. Wow. <laughs> look at, look yeah, at that. Just, just starting my program. Oh so. my gosh. Okay. So listen, as a male who read your book, yes. who, who get this, this get, and, and I don't mean this in a crazy way. After reading your book, I gained weight, but here, hang, me, hang with me here <laughs> in, a, in a good way. In yeah. other words, I was becoming unhealthy and food, food, mm -hmm. I think you said in one an interview that I did with you, we ask too much of food, mm -hmm. meaning like. Food is supposed to solve our problems, give us joy, alleviate stress. And like, I, you can have an unhealthy relationship with food in all ways, mm -hmm. negative, you know, star. The other direction too, right? Too, absolutely. too much restriction. And yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Where now it's become like a fixation mm -hmm. and now it's like taking over your life and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I, I just think that your book, I loved it. Because as someone who goes back and down and up and down with my weight, it gave me kind of like a balance. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's get into some practical solutions. Not yes. everybody knows you. Yeah. And so give us like um, one of the things I love from your book. Mm -hmm. Sitting at the dinner table. Mm -hmm. You're not hungry, um, but you're at the family dinner. Mm -hmm. And you have young kids and you're like, well, you know, I'm just going to eat because I, you know. It's antisocial not to. Can you tell us like some of that strategy? Because mm -hmm. I thought I really paid yeah. attention to that one. Yeah. You know what? Guess what? I actually did that again tonight. I went out to lunch with my husband. I thought I ate a, a small enough lunch, you know, that that yeah. I so I could be hungry later. And I was like legit not hungry at all. I sat down at the table. Everybody ate. We had a great time. 
it's like just a not a thing. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I just do not want to eat <laughs> right yeah. now, but I, I will when I'm, you know, when I'm able when to, you're hungry. when I'm hungry, I mean, my body's asking for it. Do. Exactly. And so it makes such a huge difference. Like the number of times I forced myself to eat when I wasn't hungry. I mean, it was, it's such a, yeah. It's, it's like your body is just doing its best. And it's like, hey, um, through the signals, the messaging that I'm sending you, you don't need more food. Oh, whoops. Okay, here's a whole bunch more. I'll right. get to work processing that. You know, it's just doing what it can. But we have to work with it, too. Like, I knew that I wouldn't feel great even on this call if I forced myself to eat food that... Yes. You know, I that and, and even right now, I mean, it's almost eight o'clock at night for me. I'm like a little bit hungry. So yeah. it's so interesting. Like, like clearly my body today just didn't need more. Okay, that's cool. That's totally yeah. that totally can be okay. So so for me that worked out. I mean, obviously everybody's um, you know, in the personal experience is going to be different and what they need to do. And, you know, if it's like extremely important for you to, to actually be putting the food in your mouth, you know, during, during a, a meal with your family, then maybe, you know, like maybe for me, it would have been like, okay, I'm not going to go out to lunch or I'm just going to eat even less at lunch or something so that I could be hungry. But um, it, it's, it's, you know what it is, is it's just recognizing like the way to make the decisions mm -hmm. on what you should be eating and when already comes factory installed. Mm. And we have to learn to listen to that and also then let go of all the other kind of structural societal beliefs that we've been fed probably since we were even children, which is like, it's time to eat. You have to eat because of whatever, you like the time, plate. whatever you got to finish your plate, yeah. like all these things that we think are just true that yeah. just really aren't true. Like it doesn't like, you know, the, the biggest waste, people don't want to waste food. The biggest waste is eating food that your body doesn't need. Oh, that's deep. I mean, that is wasteful. <laughs> it really is. Nice job. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, you're putting also you're putting stress on your body, which which is waste. It's a waste mm -hmm. of life. Yeah. Okay. So let's give away another journal because people are I can geek out about this. So so let's pick it somebody else, Miss Miss Elf in the channel. Um, we're going to see that here in a moment, start a new thread too. So I don't have to keep scrolling down. You're doing amazing. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to pick another one. And then here's another thing, Katrina, with your book, I'm from Wisconsin, you're from Wisconsin yeah. and you know, and when I was reading your book, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so true. But you know, in Wisconsin, like everything is built around food, like Packer games, mm -hmm. uh, you know, deer hunting. I mean, the whole thing. And so mm -hmm. <laughs> it's part of the culture, which I would argue that everybody, no matter where they live, would have their same version of yes. that. You know what I mean? I don't think it's necessarily really unique yeah. to our area. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And so you almost think that, hey, if I don't eat, then I'm not. It's a communal thing. It's a social mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And so then you're just like, well, you know, I got to be a good son or daughter or, you know, sister. And no, oh, you can't tell my mom. No, this is the. You I know, don't want to send people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's interesting. Where it was mm -hmm. a lot. That's why I think your book's so powerful. You like literally pick apart the reasons for yeah. eating. And that's why I think this book works compared to other things that just say, hey, count your calories and do this. You can't maintain that. Right. Would you agree that like your book yeah. helps people maintain? Yeah. Well, and what I would say too, is that maybe there are people out there who've been counting calories for decades and they are feeling like, you know, for sure that's the thing for them or whatever. But my question then is, do they still, do they feel true peace and freedom around food? You know, or everywhere they go, are they like, you know, crunching numbers, doing fast math in their head and like, da, 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 you know, like trying to figure it all out oh, that's interesting. and, um, and trying to do, you know, subtract and how much should I have? And did I work out today and whatever? Like, to me, that sounds like a nightmare. Like, I don't want to yeah. live my life like that. And I know that it's not required, you know, yeah. to live your life like that. But at the same time, I mean, I'm sure so many people here tonight will understand what I'm talking about. Like, you know, you're on some weight loss plan mm -hmm. and they kind of give you some ideas on like how you can go to like a party or an event or like yeah. whatever, eat at someone's house or go on vacation or something and still stay on plan. But then when you're doing it, you're like, 
what, how, how am I supposed to do this? This just doesn't seem possible. And for people like me who can be very all or nothing in my thinking, it's like, I'm hundred percent on a plus student, you know, getting the gold star. And then I have that one hiccup, like go to the one Packer party and then it's over. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's done. Like it's just done. And there's no getting back on track. I mean, just even that, like, going, maybe you go somewhere and you do eat more or drink more than you had planned. Like, mm-hmm. okay, it's not yeah. a crime. It's okay. Yeah. But how can we make it so that, okay, so tomorrow Yeah. we're right back on track or, you know, later that night, you're not like, well, it, here's my chance. And you're like yeah. eating everything because you know, tomorrow I'm going to have to be good again. You know, like we got to take all of that drama out. That's the mind part that makes That's this so, so hard. That's so good. Listen, that is where it's at. And that's why I think your book, I think now that I'm really immersed in your book, because this is probably the fourth or fifth chat we've had. And each time I learn something new, but really you talk about the psychological relationship and meaning we give to food, Mm -hmm. you know, and for some of us, food is success for Mm -hmm. others of us. It's control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And talk to, okay, I'm going to give away the next winner. Um, and then I want you um, after this to talk about some more tips. So yeah, give us some absolutely. questions. So the next winner of the journal is Kristen Keeley, K-E-E-L-E-Y. Kristen, Go ahead. Yeah, congratulations. Go ahead and shout out. yeah. So here's where okay. Susan and Kristen are going to do to claim their prize. They're going to they're going to basically email your team and we'll know it's them because we'll see that that's their email, but basically they're going to uh, email your team and we don't want everybody to email your team, but, but there, <laughs> there's the email there in the, uh, um, hello. It's great. There, there it is. So yeah, there's the, right. all right. So now give us some practical tips. Yes. Okay. So here's the thing that I don't want to happen to people. And I know this can happen because I've done it myself. I remember buying, finding out years ago, I think I was in medical school, what Jennifer Aniston did to like how she ate. And so I immediately bought that book. I don't even remember what it was called. (laughs) It had numbers in it. I don't know what it was in the title. And um, and then I read like the first couple chapters and then I never finished it. And here's the thing. It probably wasn't for me anyway. And that may be... um, uh, you know, factored into me not finishing it. But regardless, the last thing I want you to do is to get this beauty on your nightstand and then she collects dust. Okay. We don't want to do that. So what I want to tell people, what I want people to know is when you are starting out, just pick one thing, especially if everything, if, it, if a lot of things feel like too much, you know, like in my program, I don't tell people to do everything all at once. Mm. It's a staged approach on purpose. Yeah. based on experience, you know what I mean? Like, like when we, I mean, and this is well documented in, in all the research around habit change. When you ask yourself to do more than one, you know, ch- significant change in your life, mm-hmm. uh, the chances of you being able to turn that into a habit plummet. Oh, wow. And, you know, by the time you're asking yourself to do three or four things at one time, it yeah. is like abysmal. Like the, you're not going to be able to keep this up. So, mm-hmm. so you know what I tell my clients all the time is like, if you start feeling like any kind of rushing energy, like you feel Mm -hmm. like you're in a rush, like you feel like pressure, the urge to hurry, you got to (laughs) stop. You got to slow your roll, slow yourself down. What is the rush? This is the last time you're losing weight. Then what is the rush? Pick the thing that seems the, the easiest thing or the thing that you resonate most with. The thing that you are like, yeah, I, I can, t- I just know in my, you know, <laughs> the pit yeah. of my stomach, I just yeah. know that's the thing I need to start with. Do that. And then just start doing it. Like start mm. taking action and implement that thing into your life, whatever that is for some people that won't have anything to do with food mm. to start with. And that is okay. Right. Again, if it's the last time we're losing weight, we have all the time in the world. Well, that's good. But think about our food and how we're going to change things. But if you know that there's some other stuff you have going on for you, I mean, it 
the way you're going to know if you maybe need to do some other work first, or one way to know is just looking back at your past history with weight loss. If you were like, you know, I could always get to this one point and then I would self-sabotage and gain back or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever happens, like there's more to that. It's not that you're self-sabotaging because you're like a weak human and right. like something's wrong with you. It is, you know, arguably, probably there's at least on some level, it doesn't feel safe to go past that. Ooh, and so the way that we make sure that we ensure our safety is to run shenanigans, self-sabotage, and then, okay, we get to stay safe. We still got the food. If we are relying on that, if that, you know, we lean on that heavily to be okay in our lives, or if, you know, we feel like if we get too small, we're going to invite unwanted attention and that's not safe or like whatever it is, like, those are all things that it makes so much more sense to focus on healing, whatever that is, really understanding it deeply, understanding how you use food to make yourself feel better so that you can take care of that issue and separate food from it. And then you're like, okay, well now it's just food. So be that what it may, like, what do I want to do now that it's just yeah. food? Like, think about losing weight from that place mm -hmm. then from, well, I gotta like get myself ready to go, you know, like, yeah. like, getting yourself like ready for feeling so hungry all the time, yeah. being miserable and, and all of that stuff. Like, like it doesn't have to be that way. And mm -hmm. one of the best ways for it to not be that way is for you to know how to take care of your emotional, you know, um, your emotional needs. Like yeah. what is it that's what problem is food solving for you? And if your answer is, I don't know, that's completely okay. Wow. And instead of thinking like, oh, I don't know, period, complete sentence. Instead, we want to go, I don't know. But if I did, I wonder what it could be. Like just starting to get curious, right? Yes. If they don't know, our brain's like done, loop closed. There's no yes. answer. No, there is an answer. So even if nothing comes to you immediately, you know, I'm, I'm so interested in finding out more about mm. my relationship with food. I can't mm. wait till I know more. I wonder what that could be. I wonder why I got into this pattern of using food in this way. And let your brain start to solve that. I found for myself, I asked myself questions like that. And then it's like, you're in the shower and you're like, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I think it might be that, yeah. you know, or whatever. Like you just let it come to you. You're just pondering. You're not pressuring it. You're not stressing out because you don't know. You're just letting it evolve. And if you decide right. you want to work with a coach or a therapist or talk it out with a friend or whatever, that can be helpful. But to like give it space, give it air. It needs mm -hmm. to breathe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I love what Misha says. I learned back in med medical school that you need to learn to eat fast and eat when you can because you don't know when the next time will be. I mean, look at that. Yes. hundred percent. We all did. Me too. Same. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. so that's like a stress-induced, scarcity-minded mm -hmm. belief that will mm -hmm. jack you up. Um, <laughs> totally. And then I'm like looking at these residents who are like so thin, these dudes, and I'm like, what is, I, something, yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Well, and listen, um, for me, as I read your book, I realized that I use food as a stress relief. Mm -hmm. So well, many people do. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So like, lots of stuff going on. I mean, I do these launches, you know, like high pressure. And, and so what do I do? I don't, I'm super calm, but I just manifest through eating. Mm. And when I, when I read your book and unpacked that, I'm like, Whoa, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Do I really want that to be my, my thing? And that's what I think your book does. It raises these very deep questions. And I'll tell you what, um, my wife's a counselor, so I'm not saying, mm -hmm. I'm not ripping on counselors, but I'm saying that your book does therapy and, mm -hmm. and I'll just tell people like they should get the audiobook. Mm -hmm. I, I just heard that from somebody get the audiobook, but I think they should get the audiobook, and I think they should get the physical book too. Yeah. I'm just saying, and here's why, because you have bonus content mm -hmm. in the audiobook. You're going to get things extra your, your physical book though. How cool is that? Where, you know, the brain just processes differently because it's laid out and you have yeah. charts and graphs. Mm -hmm. and now all of a sudden you're like, Oh my gosh, now I can underline. So what do you think? Dog ear the pages. Like you can go back. I love me an audiobook. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. like, I better not expect to ever have to go back and reference anything. Yes. Because how do you even find it? You know? Right. 
Exactly. So, you know, the combo I think can be helpful. The other thing to your point though, is like, it's, there's something about seeing it through your eyeballs, but also um, often like we read a book and then we're like, okay, mm, you know, I want to do that, but like, we need more and we're not going to like maybe keep rereading the same book again, but when we're listening, Ooh, that's right, good. we can go about our day, we can be commuting, we can be, you know, whatever, prepping in the kitchen for dinner or whatever it is. And, um, and hearing it and, and yeah. often we need, you know, we are much more open to hearing things again and again. I mean, and we listen to songs, we listen to all kinds of things again and again that are helpful where we may not read the book again and again in that way, it becomes more of a record. Right. So I think doing both can be, can be um, really helpful, especially for people who are really like, no, I mean it. Yeah. It's, it's, I want it's, to do it's this. Immersion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's immersion. I mean, when you master anything, like how does an actor prepare for a character? They immerse themselves in it. Yeah. And I think that's what your book does. When you immerse yourself in this language, it becomes part of your culture and right. it fights, it fights the headlines that are out there. Mm -hmm. um, do we dare? I don't know. I hope, I hope I'm, I'm going off the record here. Um, you know that there's this whole body shaming thing going on mm -hmm. and you know, this, you got this piece that you wrote even mm -hmm. if we are serious about, our health, mm -hmm. where do we stand with yeah. the whole, like uncomfortable yeah. type thing? How does like that, how does that body work? Positivity. Yeah. 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 I mean, like really what it comes down to is I think, you know, we all can agree that the way, you know, messaging was, was societally sent to us, particularly women was really harmful <laughs> and, and not helpful at all and, and really damaging for a lot of people. And so, something needed to change there a hundred percent. And so the body positivity movement really kind of arose from that going, you know what, like we need, like, like we need to change this. And thank goodness it, it did because you see the, the results of that. I mean, little by little, it's not, not perfect yet, but like, there are a lot of changes. Like even just when you're, when you're online shopping now, like seeing the models in the yeah. clothing, like it's just, there's a lot of changes now, which is so amazing. And there's even like a body neutrality movement, which is like for people who are like, look, like I come from a place of such hatred and loathing of my body to be positive or loving about it seems like way too far out of reach. Like, can I just get to a place of acceptance and neutrality around it, which Whoa. I think can be a great stepping stone for people for sure. Or maybe a landing place if that's what they, what they um, would like. Yeah. But what seems to have happened, um, you know, relatively recently is this pendulum swing a little bit like further away where now this idea that losing weight is equivalent to body like fat shaming yourself mm -hmm. fat shaming your previous self i am you know wow. when when adele lost weight um a couple years ago like her followers were mad they were like really upset um some of them obviously yeah and i like maybe a loud minority but there's there's now um women going you know like like whispering like is it okay? I mean, I kind of want to lose weight and I know I shouldn't say that, but like, I really, I really do want to. Like, so it's, so it's almost me, like does shame the other it's, way. It's the other shame. It's like, you're not thin enough. Now you, you know, you have a desire and you're being shamed for that desire. And what I really think is that in this day and age where particularly for women, you know, like what we're allowed to do with our bodies is, uh, you know, <laughs> being rights are being removed and things are changing. Like, everybody gets to decide what kind of life they want to live, right? And what kind of meat suit they want to live it in. Cause that's really all it is. It's just, it's just this collection of cells that our consciousness <laughs> walks around in all day, you know, how we get to experience our lives. And it's just really important to me to counter that with like, Yes, you don't have to lose weight and you're amazing exactly as you are. And also, if you just prefer for any number of reasons to live your life in a body that's different, you have that right to choose that. Like we all have that agency and we don't need to apologize for it. There's, yeah. there's no reason to, um, you know, like feel like you need to hide or something's wrong with you because you that's know you'd like your knees to not hurt at the end of a long shift of being on your feet all day like that's interesting why does somebody else get to tell you that i don't think that's fair see for the first this is why i love chatting with you you you, you blow my mind so mm -hmm. so you just you just helped me help realize something i think that there are certain families 
that are overweight and there's pressure to maintain that overweight. And if you're the one person in that family that chooses to lose weight, well, who do you think you are? Like I've always viewed it from success, mm. right? Because mm -hmm. there's that whole concept about the crab who tries to get out and everyone like rips the crab apart because it, you know, they don't want to admit that they're also trapped in the cage. Mm. But but you could see that. Don't you think that could happen with families where for sure culturally, you got to like, yeah. no, who do you think you are? Mm -hmm. And now you're not part of us. What do you think? I mean, it can be the culture of the family. It can be the broader culture of the community. It can be, I mean, I, I want to speak to this because it is actually a legitimate reason why people do not lose weight. Mm. I mean, we have had people, I've worked with, you know, people who feel that like their deepest, closest, most meaningful relationships in their lives hinge largely on the fact that they weigh X amount or that they're of a certain body size. Um, you know, the way they connect with people, like maybe it's their best friend, you know, their friends that they've had their whole lives. Like, you know, they, like they have, as I've heard of people, like I have my friend, you know, we're always dieting and then gaining weight together. Like this is like how we bond, or maybe it's like the sister or sometimes it's mother daughter. I've heard about that a lot where there's a lot of, um, you know, just like, you know, we have, we're in this together. Therefore we need to be having the same experience. So to decide to do something different can threaten that relationship. Ooh. And, you know, to say that, like, we don't want to be flippant about that. You know, we don't want to just be like, well, you should, it just shouldn't bother you. You just have to let them do whatever. And like, sometimes you just got to get rid of people who don't support you. Like, okay. I mean, yes, but also that can be really, really, um, Relationship. Sad, you know, and like, oh, yeah. there's like real grief behind losing um, important friendships or, um, you know, meaningful relationships and stuff like that. And so, so these are all things that, that um, it's important to give it some space and airtime, right? Like just to yeah. think through that and to, you know, maybe we, we can, you know, discuss it more with those people and help them to really understand where we're coming from. And maybe that will make a difference and maybe it won't. But, you know, we have to get to a place where, where we aren't feeling like, okay, I'm trying to go in this one direction because part of me really does believe that it's the best thing for me. Mm -hmm. Whereas the other part of me is like slamming on the brakes, dragging me back, right? Yeah. That's when we're sitting there like, why am I self-sabotaging? Why do I gain and lose? And like, I never have any peace around this whole thing. Mm -hmm. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. It makes so much sense. Yeah. So once we can just see and build some awareness around what around what's going on there, we can start to get really thoughtful about, okay, what's the next thing? What's the next step going to be um, okay. for, um, for, you know, me moving in the direction that I want to go? I mean, sometimes we're like, well, I need to lose 100 pounds. If I lose 100 pounds, then I lose my family, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe we could start with losing even 10 pounds or maybe 15. Like that could be a great place to start. And let's just see what happens from there. Like maybe we don't have to look at the whole thing as that all or nothing, like I was saying before. Yeah. Where it's like, I mean, they're all in and losing everything or nothing changes. Wow. That's right. so good. All right. So let's give away the last, the last planner. Last and I'll planner. tell you what, okay. I'll tell you what, this planner was this, this person was like begging. She's actually <laughs> asking your, your team to start launching this as a product. Okay. Um, so I'm just telling you, you might want to have a team meeting about maybe, listening. Maybe okay. This to. is um, Jennifer. Jennifer Pelkey, Jennifer Pelkey, P-E-L-K-E-Y. She was blowing it up saying, please, please, please make this available. <laughs> so I got it. Jennifer's been really active in our book ambassadors in our circle group too. So Jennifer, I'm so glad I you're know. getting this one. Yeah, she's Look been at that. involved. Look yeah. at that. Okay, fantastic. Congratulations, Jennifer. That is awesome. So, so let's tease people with, with mm -hmm. the next. You have a really cool one that I'm like I some wanting. Real good ones. Um, and this is all uh, stuff that you can't buy. There's no way to get this in any other way. So it's yeah. so fun. Okay, you want yeah. me to tell you what the next thing is? Tell us what the next one is. And by the okay. way, Jennifer's so, thanking so, you. Yeah, so the next thing. So, you know, very close to 300 episodes of the podcast right now. You can imagine that you you know, uh, come across this podcast, you're like this, yes, okay, resonate with everything. 
Um, but wow, that's a lot of hours of my life to be, you know, that I'm going to need to spend, um, you know, listening. And then, you know, you're out and about and you want to jot that down and where you put it. And should I listen to this one or that one or the other thing? So we made it really nice and simple for you. And we created this really meaty book. I mean, look at this. Oh um, and this is called Inspiration from the Weight Loss for Busy Physicians podcast. So what this is is I'll show you here. This is a one page oh, wow. summary mm. of the first 200 episodes of the podcast. Oh my so gosh. It's so great. It gives you just like a good, like what are the main points? Yes. And then there's space to like, you know, um, you take some notes, you can flip through it and go, okay, these are the first episodes that I really want to make sure Ooh. I'm listening to. Yes. And that one I'll come back to. You can like color code things, you know, you know, those little color, those little sticky tabs oh, yeah. you put on, like that would be great. And, um, and so this like is a that we offer. We don't even give this to all of our clients. Like they have to sign up by like a certain time and everything to be able wow. to get this. Super, super special, not for sale. I love it. I love it. it. Is yours. So let, let's have, amazing out there. <laughs> it, is, it is amazing. Let's have people uh, jump in. Um, again, we're, we're, we're watching the thread. We're seeing who's, who's, uh, I mean, oh my gosh, Laura's like, I really, really want this. So there's a lot of people <laughs> wanting this thing. And keep sharing, by the way, folks, because what Katrina just shared is so powerful. And here's what I think is going to happen. The one person in that family system that you talked about who's going to get this and who's going to understand it, they might be the example that like unleashes the whole family. What do you mm -hmm. think? Have you ever seen that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Like, you know, I always kind of joke, like when I lost weight, my husband lost weight, I would say like by osmosis, you know what I mean? Like, like I just, I never set out to make him do anything. I really just did not, I thought it was the thing for me, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, um, and instead he just like picked up on some things and I would just, you know, share a little bit about what I was doing and, just different things that that made a difference for me. And I think the thing is that like, you know, every, like it's just such a complicated subject. You know, when people are like, well, it's just thermodynamics. I'm like, it's I, I'm at a point where I feel like that's insulting now. Oh, I'm yeah. like, people stop saying that because it really, really, really undermines the the complex dynamics that can be at play for a lot of people. Mm. But, so with that said, though, that doesn't mean that there's not a solution available. It can be just, you know, sharing um, maybe what you're doing and what's resonating and how, how it's helping you and not doing it from a, I know better than you how to live your life kind of a place. So you yes. should listen to me, but instead from a truly supportive, um, you know, maybe sharing what you're doing, or if you don't struggle with your weight, just being like, Hey, you know, I've been checking this out and following this and I've heard that's really helpful. And, you know, I care about you and I love you. And, and, you know, I, I would like to open up the discussion, like, like open up the conversation. Are you interested in making some changes? Because as we know, we cannot make someone change who doesn't want to change. Mm. If they don't want to change, they also get to choose that. Adults get to decide what they want to do. So, right? Like, so that's okay. Yes. So, um, so, you know, but I think sometimes the way that people feel um, approached can feel maybe... It can be interpreted as maybe a little bit attacking, a little strong, you know, whatever it is. And then what do we do? We immediately just put up the armor and the resistance mm. and yep. instead just kind of being like, you know, these are the issues that I see in my life and this is what I want to work on. Like even oh, if wow. someone doesn't even have the goal at all of losing weight, yes. that's really not that important to them. Even if you just work on connecting to your body, actually learning you know, reconnecting to those signals of when mm -hmm. you're actually hungry, when you're, you know, satisfied, when your body's had enough food, and then figuring out how to deal with your emotional life in a way that doesn't involve food, right? So we're eating for nutrition, like yes. just for our bodies and for, you know, occasional pleasure. And we're not feeling consumed by thoughts about food all the time and thoughts about our bodies. And we're instead, you know, taking just really excellent care of ourselves. It could be that you lose some weight. Wow, wow. Just by doing that, right? Yeah, yeah. And so can we argue, going back to that previous point, are we arguing that that person is now fat shaming themselves? No, of course they are not. Right. <laughs> not fat shaming. Yes. <laughs> Listen, the, the chat's blowing up with a bunch of funny things. Um, <laughs> one person says, look, I mean, your sweater is now being the, 
conversation. I'm just saying. I really it's, thought that that rainbow would be very appropriate for today. When I know, was getting dressed today, just, I'm like, rainbow feels like the thing. <laughs> I'm just saying, if if you know, maybe you want to be a close sponsor now too. But there's some people, people saying where I got this. Actually, though, some of my clients probably will. There is a grocery store, like it's like a, a nicer grocery store, but not anything like crazy. Yeah. Um, that's like half a block from my house and they, but they have beautiful flowers at like flower section and they have a really nice, it's small, but a really, really nice gift area, you know? Wow. And so if I have time when I'm strolling through there every now and then I like go through and they sell clothes too. And I can't tell you, I've gotten such cute stuff and this is from the grocery store. <laughs> would, would I know the grocery store? Is it, is it, oh, is it it's Sendix. Do you know Sendix? Oh yeah. 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 My, my parents love that. Yeah. 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 So okay, so now we're mm -hmm. now Sendix has to be a um, right exactly. Concert. And right. if you live in the Milwaukee area, I actually reached out to them today to say, hey, you know, do you want to feature a local author's book in your gift area? Well, absolutely. So maybe you know people could go and request it. Ooh, <laughs> hey folks, I'm feeling something. What if we go to Sendix uh, on Instagram or uh -huh. Team? Drop it in and right? say, listen, you know, you're local, you're, local you're cool. author. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> So here's a couple things. We have a lot of people saying my husband yeah. lost weight by seeing me. So how powerful is that? Mm -hmm. We have people begging for the podcast book, just saying. Mm -hmm. um, and your team mm -hmm. even said, look, we got to give away too. So okay. your team, your team. Amazing. Said, I love my team. Yay, uh, team. You know, Kristen <laughs> and uh, dare I say, uh, Jennifer, Larissa. Um, there's all kinds of people in this channel great team. Oh, good. Yeah. So the two winners for the podcast special treasure map, that's oh, what we're calling God. it now, is um, Catherine Walton. And the last name is amazing. V-E-C-C-H-I-O. So Vecchio. Catherine, I think that's Italian. We're going to call that Vecchio. Look at you. Okay. <laughs> He's one winner. And then Congratulations. In, yes. You know, I should have like a noisemaker, you know? Right. Like, I know. When you're like, like, yeah, I, <laughs> like the, the, new, the New Year's Eve, like, yeah, you know? <laughs> exactly. And then um, <laughs> the next one is Laura Mathis Forbes. All right. Laura, Laura Mathis Forbes. Yes, Congratulations. Yes. Absolutely. So here's what I'm going to challenge everybody to do. By the way, let's tee up a little hint at the next prize because the, okay. I think this is the one. That's amazing. This is like all amazing. But, I think. Yeah. So let's zero it's, in. I think it's cooler, yeah. but it's just different. And so here's here final is final prize, right? This is the final prize. And so here's what we do when yeah. we have our clients who finish weight loss for doctors only, and then they come into our master's program. So they're continuing on. We send them a really awesome hydro flask. Oh my God. And it is engraved. I kind of, should I take this off? I feel like I shouldn't take it off, but take I will. It off. Take it off. So look what it. Unstoppable. It off. Okay, Unstoppable. I'll just leave it there. But so That's it great. is engraved. This is like in the thing, you know, like really nice. And it says Unstoppable. The and logo. It has, our, our, has our logo on it. That's right? so cool. And it's like the oh. coffee kind. And of yes. course, with Hydro Flask, you can change out the lids and stuff if you're not like a hot drink person. Yes. Um, but. Right. So I'm having a hard time finding the camera. This is this good. is really, really fun. It's and um, it's a great, it's you can use it as a water bottle too, which is what we actually use it for in my house. So, and that's key. I mean, that's a yeah. good part of health. Yeah. I, I have yeah. this me wherever I go. Mm -hmm. Totally. Um, me too. Me too. So okay. anyway, super that's, fun, super exclusive. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And one person is going to get that. And it's the most engaged person. Um, <laughs> Somebody says, I have a screaming goat toy on my desk. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm going to get, that's what I'm getting for the next party. Okay. A screaming goat. Uh, toy, right? That's amazing. Um, so here's what I'm going to challenge everyone to do. Folks, if you found any value today, if you found any value on the podcast, I can tell you with all integrity, do an Amazon review. And here's why I use this analogy and it seems to really connect with people because People just need, they need to realize this. Can you, let me ask you this question, Katrina. Can you review a restaurant in Milwaukee, mm -hmm. even though you haven't eaten everything on the menu? 
Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, of course. So when I tell people, go on Amazon and do a review, how can I say that ethically? I'll tell you why. Because you've all consumed Katrina's content. I mean, if you've listened to her podcast, if you've heard this live stream, you have consumed her content. And as a result, that is in the book. So go ahead, do a review. Why? Because you're, con you're reviewing the part that you have consumed. And then, yes, you're going to finish the book. So my point is this. Right now, there are people saying, what about this book? And, you know, first of all, congratulations, because I know I literally have watched Oprah and stuff. And there's people that don't even have reviews for weeks. Oh, okay. Really? I really, because Amazon review is, it's just, it's difficult. I'm just going to be real. There's mm -hmm. probably 20 more people who've reviewed it, but Amazon like pen, they do it pending. And then they say like, is it verified? So mm -hmm. I know that there's a lot of people that have stacked the reviews in here, mm -hmm. but all I'm saying folks is that this book is doing incredible things. The podcast is doing incredible things. Beautiful, by the way, look at this uh, amazing. I love the layout here. But even the reviews, you know, um, incredible people. Number one across all the categories, they only give you three. And, <laughs> and you're crushing it. So I just want to challenge people. Like that's the number one thing, you know, as your book marketing director that I can say that would be helpful. If mm -hmm. people found value today, go over to Amazon. It takes three minutes. Click customer review. Write a couple pair, you know, sentences. Yeah, and that's it. So let's let me answer this. So actually, really quick, Carrie, I'd love for you to clarify this. So, do they need to have bought the book from Amazon? No. Okay. If they do, it'll say verified. Okay. But all reviews are great. Okay. All reviews are great. And again, will people finish the book? Yeah, finish the book. But I often go and help authors. By the way, I've done this so many times. Amazon has banned me from doing reviews. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm totally they serious. Think you're a bot. I'm sure they do. They're like, oh my gosh, how's this guy reviewing you know a thousand books? But I just know as an author of, of 12 books, I know that like that's love. I mean, some of us are words of affirmation people, and you read them. I know you read them. Uh, Reese Witherspoon came out with a book. She's reading every review. Trust me, she is reading every review. So that's a way that you can give back and just to get on um, Katrina's radar really exclusive people all in will do a video review that even gets more kudos from Amazon just to do a little couple minutes. But Katrina, we're going to land the plane here in a moment. And first of all, I'm going to say, as we close, like, what do you want to see happen with this book? Yeah. Well, you know, what I, what I love is like, I feel like, like it, you know, when you think of the word launch, right? Like it's like getting it up and, you know, it's like, like a, yeah. like a, a, a slingshot or something, you know, yeah. like catapulting it out there. And then it like, sort of like has to, you know, grow its own legs. Yeah. And so I would just, you know, ask that if my work has resonated with you, if you feel like there are people out there who could benefit from this, even if you don't struggle with your weight yourself. Um, you don't have to necessarily share with people your own personal journey or anything like that. Um, but just letting people know, I think this could be helpful going into any Facebook groups that you are a member of. Even if you like never post, you can still post something about it in there to let people know that it exists. Um, of course, I can't, I'm not allowed to do that you know, in different groups. And of course, there's so many different ones. Sure, sure. Um, and then you know, wherever you purchase the book, like to, um, to leave that review, it really does help. We, we are living in a, just a review economy. You know, I go and buy something on Amazon. The first thing I do is like, Oh, this one, what did I just buy the other day? I was looking for a, a nightstand lamp for my daughter because hers broke. And I'm like, Oh, this one has 17,000 reviews. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, over four stars is yes. something right. Like we, we cannot help, but have that factor into whether we want to make a purchase and when if people are not making the purchase because they're like oh there's only a couple of reviews like that's such a shame right because now they're not going to be getting that help that yeah such a difference all about life change so and then same for like barnes and noble you know i was just on that website today and of course there's zero reviews like if you bought from barnes and noble please leave a review and i know what's so annoying and it's like such an ask right like i don't like leaving them either but it really does make such a difference 
yeah. and then of course um goodreads as well right like goodreads is another Absolutely. place um to leave some reviews for people who really want to do their due diligence and yes. the other thing i just want to say because i do think it's important as doctors start to recommend this book more there will be people where purchasing a book is like not in there. It's not in the budget, you know? Mm -hmm. And so um, the way books get into libraries is when people speak to whoever's in charge at their local library and says like, Hey, I'm going to be recommending this book to my patients. Would you be interested in, you know, making sure that the library is stocked with a few of them Ooh, or good. like things like that? Or if you just know, like, I just want this to be available to people, even if, you know, if they're just library people and they just prefer to do that or that, you know, it's not in their budget, like yeah. to be able to have that, it, the, the librarians will answer, you know, the call of their membership, like the people who live in their community. Yes. And then one more thing is if you bought the book on Audible, because I know a lot of people are audiobook people, please leave a review on Audible because same yes. thing goes there, right? What do we do? We immediately go like, is this person annoying in their narr narration or is it actually good? You know, like we yeah. wanted to at least see a couple of things. So, so just yes. leaving your honest opinion is, um, is, is just so important. See, Ashley says she just submitted her Amazon review. So Ashley, Ashley did. So much. Laura did. So much. I mean, there's people like that are so, oh, here's, you know, I never buy anything without Amazon reviews. Yes. They're so important. So, mm -hmm. so I love Katrina's heart. Katrina is basically saying, look, it's not about the few dollars that I get per book. It's really about the life change. And she even said, look, if people can't afford it, go to the library. She, that's how passionate she is. And, and being a friend of hers, being someone who's seen her business grow and her impact, I can just tell you that she is totally authentic. She's totally value driven and she wants to see people's lives set free, which is why we're a brand match, you know, cause I'm all about igniting souls and you are too. And that's, what's so awesome. So we're going to drum roll here. We're going to give away the, the last, the, the, the last prize here. And that goes to Rhonda Smith, Rhonda Smith. Rhonda! Woo -woo! Yes. Congratulations, Absolutely. Rhonda. We need the screaming oh, goat. I'm getting. The we need a screaming goat. goat. <laughs> <laughs> that was my impersonation. I love it. That was a good one. I that. So, um, folks, listen. This is. The, she's right. This is a launch, and think of it like a rocket. And so the rocket is literally blasting out of the atmosphere. It's going to get into orbit, but we need to keep, you know, just spreading the message and. Again, I love it. It's brain-based solutions for permanent weight loss, how to lose weight for the last time. We call it the last timer. You know, we, we got into all kinds of fun little chats about that. <laughs> but Katrina, this has been a blast. Your team is amazing. And um, celebrate tonight. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. I just want to say thank you to everybody who has joined us for taking time out of your evening, or if you're in another part of the world, another part of your day <laughs> to be here with us and to celebrate. And um, it, it is just really, it's, you know, when you work on something for so long and you're just not really sure how it's going to be received. Um, it's just, it, it just feels really good to, to I'm know sure. that people want this thing that you created. <laughs> so, so anyway, I love everybody's, um, everybody's enthusiasm and their energy. And, um, and I just appreciate you so much. If you think that, you know, saying something or sharing about it or leaving a review doesn't matter. It really, really, really does. It yeah. really, really does. So, um, so thank you so much. So many people have been saying like, you know, I just left it or I'm, you know, I'm going to leave one, um, leave my review and I just appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Well, folks have a great night, get the book. It will literally set you free and, uh, could drink. Katrina, thank you so much for all of your incredible help. Carrie, thanks so much for doing this with me. So fun. Congratulations right. to everybody who won and to everybody else. Congratulations for figuring out how to lose weight for the last time. I'm so happy for you. Absolutely. <laughs> take care, everybody. All right. Let's take care, everybody. Bye-bye.